Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kagan Fishing here, and yeah, I'm at this launch super, super early. You know I've got the solo skiff, and the winds are supposed to be really, really light out of the west today. And so I am going to do some West Bay reef fishing. I'm gonna go out in the middle of the bay, hit up a couple different reefs, and see if I can land some bigger, bigger trout. It's that time of the year. Oh man, I'm really excited about today. I've kind of built up this like hype level in my head of the fishing day, which sometimes is good, sometimes it's not. <laughs> so whenever you're super hyped and you don't catch fish, you're even more disappointed. But man, I have a feeling I'm gonna get on some fish today. Let's get on the skiff and do some fishing. guys so it is a little more rough than I thought it was gonna be out here today the winds are actually stronger it was showing yesterday they were gonna be like five maybe and it's definitely like nine to ten so not ideal to be out in the bay obviously I'm not having a problem standing and fishing um, but I'm just gonna kind of reef hop for a little bit this morning and see if I can't pick up a fish real early uh, I know the wind's supposed to be picking up some more and so once that happens and it starts getting pretty rough out here I'm gonna retreat back closer to other spots in the bay towards a little more protected instead of being just absolutely out in the open you know what they say the winds out of the west fishing's the best so I'm pretty excited for this morning man I'm just gonna do a little drift fishing action I'm pretty much drifting right into the reef. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. Absolutely, that was a fish. All right, cool, dude. Cool. Still seven foot, though. That was right on the reef. Yes. I should have set the hook. I just, I wasn't expecting it, honestly. And I was actually thinking about maybe blasting up to the northern shoreline of West Bay. But since that was a hit, I am not going to be leaving anytime soon. All right, one of the better parts about drift fishing is once you've passed up your reef, you turn right around and you get back on it. So let's go back up and get on this reef. Man, it is rough out here. Uh, nothing like some good old Joe in the morning. All right. Ooh, a little salty Joe. <laughs> So the reef should be right over there. Oh man, I hope I catch a big fish on this reef. That'd be fun. Because this is definitely stuff that I'm not used to. Oh dude, that was a fish on top right there. Got him, oh dang dude. All right, they're on top. I'm throwing top, without a doubt. I could see those guys on top, and they're on this reef, dude. It's time for some top water action. Yeah, I definitely saw those fish, and I saw that one come up to hit it. I'm, I'm not gonna throw this for a long time, but I wanna see if that's what they're targeting right now. Some top water bites. Because everybody knows, nothing's better than a top water blow up, man. Everybody knows that. All right, that was it. I had to give it a shot, see if I would get some crazy blow ups, but I'm going back to what I was getting bites on. All right, well, that's it for that little drift. Ugh. I'm gonna hit up another reef. Whoa, I'm gonna hit up another reef. Woo! It's rough, but the solo skiff just eats it up. Just kidding, it's kind of rough. But actually though, I mean, it does a pretty good job cutting the chop. Man, a fish finder is a pretty good tool to find reefs, to really know when you're on it, it makes a big difference. So I'm just working this gut, working the reef, 
Hopefully I can get on these guys. There we go, got some fellow fishermen over here. <laughs> oh, we've got birds working. We got birds working, I'm gonna go get on them before anybody else does. Let's go get them, fellas. Let's go get them. All right, guys, we got some birds. We got birds are working. Birds are working. I think this boat's coming over to them also. Everybody's gonna be chasing the birds. <laughs> There's one. A little trout. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. There we go. All right, guys. Well, that kind of sucks. It's part of it, though. It's part of it. All right. Well, that was pretty fun. Got on a little school of trout. Only caught one. Um, I kind of got encroached on. That wasn't very cool, but no big deal. That's all. We're all out here for fun. But man, I was hoping to have some bigger dudes, but I know those schoolies are usually smaller. It has been not too shabby this morning. Had a couple solid thumps. I'm going to keep drifting this for a minute to see if there's any lingering guys. Oh, dude. I'm on the north shoreline of West Bay and it's grassy sand and it is clear. I'm in a foot, but it is just crystal, crystal clear. And there's pockets. Oh man, oh man. This is, <laughs> do you guys see it? I know y'all can see it that because I'm not wearing sunglasses and I can see really good down into the water. All right, I'm gonna start fishing. This is just freaking awesome. Oh man. All right, so I'm dropping the power pole cause I'm right on the edge of this grass. Oh, he just missed it. Oh, he just missed. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh, that looked like a nice fish, man. Recording. Oh, it's a sheep's head? What? I caught a sheep's head on a mirror lure? Wow. Whoa. That is interesting. That's really weird. <laughs> Solid sheep's head, man. I'm gonna have to be honest. I don't ever think I've caught a sheep's head on the channel before. And on a mirror lure? That is weird, dude. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Sheep's head on a mirror lure. That is pretty, pretty weird. But that's a pretty good sized sheep's head. I'll, uh, he put up a dang good fight. But weird that a sheep's head would go after a bait fish like that. Weird, usually they eat crustaceans like shrimp, crab, but rarely ever a meridine. Well guys, he measured up 14 and a half. I'm gonna let this little guy go. Got plenty of fight left in him. Whoa, hang on dude, there you go. <laughs> Swim off my friend. Those are guys you do not want to try and get the hook out without pliers. Those teeth will eat you up. All right guys, so I'm back out in the middle of the bay on another part of Karankawa Reef. Uh, it just went from six foot to three foot, so I better start fishing, man. It's awesome to see that. 
I'm hoping that uh, there's gonna be some fish stacked up on this. The sun came out a little bit. It's still pretty rough out here, but manageable for sure. I'm just gonna make again a couple drifts over this reef. Once it starts to drop back off, I know I'm off of it. And I'm gonna head back up and then go back down. So, pretty cool. I think that's a fish. It is a fish already. Yeah, dude. Nice trout. Yeah, man. Yes. First cast on this reef. Land a trout. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. That guy was a keeper. I didn't take much time to see. I mean, I just threw him on the board. And I'm throwing this lure right back out. That happened really quick. And sometimes it just shows that sometimes you got to fish for a while to really find them. Man. That feels good. Oh, yeah. I hear that guy rattling in the box. Yep. Yep. Man, that guy was running right at me too after I set the hook. It was hard to keep up with him. Oh yeah, dude. That felt awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Reef hopping West Bay, baby. Yeah. All right guys, so I'm back to the main reef. This is my last reef to hit. I'm just gonna be out of time, unfortunately. So the wind's actually calming down, which it was supposed to pick up, but it's calming down, which is really funny. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do this final drift and hopefully get on a fish, man, before I have to head in. you guys see that shark coming after my lure whoa that's not what I want to catch at all the battery died right after that shark surfaced like if it would have died two seconds earlier I wouldn't have had the footage of the shark that was nuts though man it came like right up to the skiff pretty sketchy all right so I was on the way in and I saw this color change from green to brown and I thought it was very interesting. So I'm gonna fish it and see if there's some fish holding up in this color change, kind of hiding on the edges. Cause I mean, they're ambush predators. So if they have a little haze to hide in, they might be there. Also the water is warmer whenever you have stained like this. The molecules are like the particles in the water actually hold on to the warmth of the sun better than clear water. So a pretty interesting little fact for you guys. Whoa. Um, so yeah, what I said about, oh my gosh, Got a bunch of reds. Holy cow, dude. There's stuff chasing all in here. What in the world? Oh my gosh, that's exactly where my lure was pretty much. Oh my gosh. That was nuts. Well, they don't want what I'm throwing. That's for sure. Dude, I don't know what that was. Today's been a crazy day, man. I just can't catch the fish. The show's Kagan fishing, not Kagan catching. So, you know. <laughs> that was insane. I was looking right in that spot when that happened. What are the odds of that? Seriously, that was nuts. Well guys, just like that, the fishing is over. Man, talk about some crazy things that I saw today, but it was great. Had some birds working, fish were feeding, I caught a sheep's head on a miradine, weird. And then on top of all that, I had a shark come up next to the boat, and then huge blow ups right next to the boat. I don't know what it was, but I threw three, four times, nothing would hit the lure and I was out of time. So 
and that wind actually got lighter as the day progressed which wasn't forecasted so you know time constraints we've all got them and today it took me off the water I would have been out on the water for the rest of the day but no big deal because you guys know I get out often I'd like to thank you guys for watching another episode of Kagan Fishing I'll catch you next time Thank you.